everybody it's Kelsey Brianna J and today I'm doing a look using some makeup that I purchased not too long ago I figured I would do this video and give you guys some insight into different products that I've accumulated to let you guys know what I think about them and to give you guys a visual interpretation of what these products perform like so with that being said this is a tutorial and I just said a whole lot of words to say we're about to do this look. So if you have the products that I'm using, definitely grab them, play along. Or if you choose to do this look later, make sure you tag your girl on social media. Hashtag Kelbells, get you found, get you seen, all right? Let me know what you all think about everything. I will have links for you guys to shop down in my description box. Definitely check those out and shop through those links to support the Kelbell community. And I hope that you all enjoy the video. So let's get into it. So I want to start out this look by putting on some Magic Lip Oil by Charlotte Tilbury. Because my lips will not be dry for the duration of this video. Not happening. Love this stuff. Before I put on makeup, excellent makeup prep. Get your lips hydrated and ready to go. So when you're ready to put on your lipstick or whatever at the end when you're done doing your makeup, your lips are very hydrated and moisturized. Love it. So on the skin, I want to put on some of the Fenty Ease Drop Lit Glow Enhancement Drops. I have Honey Citrine, so I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand. And this is just like an all over luminizer. This is a Chikahoto T11 brush. I'm just going to take this brush and... Ooh, wait. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, so I just want to put that... You know on the high planes of my face to give myself a little bit of extra glow and I just did a dollop you know just a little dab and that was lame I just want to have a little bit on the skin because you know once it gets colder you just don't glow as much as you do when it's warmer so I'm just gonna put that there if you're an oily person Go ahead and go in with the mattifying primer right here, maybe right here. And don't take this product so far in. But I'm really not, so I just kind of do what my heart desires. But I'm not going to put that all over, just in specified areas to glow there. It has a little bit of a tacky feel to it, so this likely will give us a little bit of grip, like a primer would, if we put it on underneath, like how I just did our foundation and complexion products. So if you put it over, you might feel a little bit of that tact, okay? Next, I'm so excited to be using this foundation on camera with you guys. This one is the newest one from House Labs. And y'all, I love the packaging. I love the aesthetic of the brand. I think it's super cool. This one is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And I'm really, really excited. Because I've had this for a while, but I haven't used it on camera yet. So we're doing it today. I have the shade 330 Medium Cool. And again, I'm just going to take that on the back of my hand. And I just went in with one squirt for now. And then I'll gradually build it up. But y'all, this foundation is so skin-like. It's making my skin look like the more perfected version of itself. Like how my skin used to look when I was like 17. Honestly, like it has a really nice radiance to it. It feels almost like a gel, you know? It says it's a medium coverage, weightless, clean foundation with fermented arnica. And that helps reduce redness and protects from environmental stress. So it doesn't say it's a gel finish foundation, but it just kind of feels like that. Not like a traditional liquid would. So with one pump, I did my entire right side. So I'm going to use one more pump to do the left. And I really love the way this foundation feels. It feels really breathable. I like the way that it looks on the skin. You know, this is a pretty good color match for me. It's kind of difficult to pick a color though because there are so many. But I felt like I could comfortably wear at least two different colors. So that's always a good sign because, you know, in the middle, medium dark folks like myself, we oftentimes just kind of get one shade and get lumped in and then we just have to work with what we got. But Lady Gaga said, no, 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 no. I'm going to give you some options here. And I love that. So this shade is giving me a really nice blend of golden and neutral undertones. So I really like that. And it blends out so beautifully. Like, do you all see how radiant my skin looks? 
and it doesn't look so heavily made up it's a beautiful everyday type foundation but it still gives you coverage if you're needing that because sometimes you just need that i just think that looks so good and so fresh so i'm gonna abandon my complexion and zoom you guys in and let's do some eyes here you are all up close into my business I'm gonna do my brows using the Give by Gwen brow pencil. This one is officially called the Most Def Instant Definition Sculpting Brow Pencil. So let's first just, you know the drill, make sure your brows are going in the right direction. And then this brow pencil has a rounded edge and this is to allow you to draw on your brow hairs in a more natural way and create those brow like strokes. I have shade number five. Oh, oh. And it's pretty pigmented, so you don't need to apply a lot of pressure. You can just go in lightly and then get your desired effect. So I like the tone of this brow pencil and the simplicity that it offers. Excellent. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer just put a little bit of that on the lid and then let's just blend that out real quick and simple now we're going into the abh rose metals eyeshadow palette which i wasn't sure if i was gonna buy this but y'all were like no buy it do a look let's get a video out so i was like okay so i skedaddled over to the store and i picked it up this color story is really pretty but the tones look a little bit more muted so we'll see what this plays out like and I don't know. I don't know which shade I want to pick up first because I don't really see a shade that I would really, really want in my crease because all these shades look either warm or cool. There's not really anything in here super neutral except for this one, which I suppose I could go here. Let's go in with Sun Rose and let's take that in our crease. This one is a BK Beauty 201 brush and I'm just going to use this brush and fluff this shade all over. It's a really fluffy brush. So back and forth. This is a really pretty tone. It is somewhat brown, somewhat rosy. So it's like a rosy haze. And it's going on pretty neutral like in the crease. And it's really pigmented. So you don't need a lot of this tone at all. Now I'm going to take a more precise blending brush. This one is a Royal and Lane Nickel BLM45 and pick up a bit of the shade Noble. So with this shade, I'm going to take it a little bit further down in the crease to add some more definition and focus that shade here back and forth. It's gonna give us more depth, make the eye look a little bit more seductive, a little bit more defined. Can y'all see the difference? I just want a little bit, not too much because I don't want it to be super dark. So that's about how much I want through the crease. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that shade and pop it right on the outer corner on the lid. So I'm taking it on the flat side of the brush and just pouncing it to get it to be more concentrated and that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna take a brush from Chica Hodo. This one is a flat shader and a little bit of the shade Heavenly. And I mean just a dab and just take that right underneath my brow. And I can pick up a little bit more but I'm not gonna go in too heavily with this because I already can tell by the intensity of these shades that if you go in with too much you can make it look a little bit too icy. And I just want a really light underbrow highlight. Same brush and I'm gonna pick up Nova. Ooh wee, this is very pigmented. So go in with the light hand and just stipple this on. Pat, 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 pat. That's pretty. Let's do some eyeliner. I'm gonna do the Lancome Adult Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. And this one is a black one. Probably should shake it up a little bit more. Let's get the liner juices flowing. I just want a thin wing. Like a baby wing. Now that I have my liner right. Okay. Now that I have my liner on, let's go in with some mascara. This one is the Tower 28 mascara. Make waves, not making waves, not made waves, make waves, as in do it, do it, do it now. Do Okay, 
So I'm going to check this mascara out. This is my first time trying it out. I've heard nothing but great things about it. But honestly, we're all so different with mascara and mascara preferences. I'm not gonna hold my breath. But I do like Tower 28, so we'll see. All right, so this is a black mascara, okay. Coat one is not looking too shabby. Let me go to the other one. Cause what I tend to do is do one coat, let it kind of dry. You know, by the time you do one coat on the other eye, most of the time coat two is ready for the other eye. So it's not completely dry. I like how deep this mascara is. The intensity is there because my eyelashes are light. It's giving me a little bit of volume. Is this supposed to be a lengthening mascara too? Let me check. Yep, lengthening and volumizing mascara. Long wearing and water resistance. It has Aquaflex technology conventionally used in hair care styling. Oh! And it has castor oil. Shout out to your grandmamas for putting the people on the castor oil and its growth properties to helping y'all keep y'all's lashes so y'all's eyes aren't bald headed. My lashes look really long. I like it, I like it. Very black. Volume, length, check, check, looking good. Okay, so now let's move back into our complexion. Concealer, let's go in with this Huda Beauty. This one is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. Toasted Almond is my shade that I picked. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that there. Yeah, bring me up some. But before I blend that out, I do wanna go in with some bronzer. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. It's a cream formula. I'm gonna take the Royal and Lane Nickel BOM 33 brush, a nice angled brush, and just stipple. Ooh, this is so pretty. And this brush applies this product beautifully and perfectly. It's the perfect brush for that because it's angled, okay? And it's a stippling brush, but it blends out. So I just wanna apply a little bit of that and blend that out before I do my concealer. But you can put your concealer on and already have it marinating. And this one is in the shade number two. I also bought shade number three, but for every day, two is good for me with this particular formulation. I really like it. I've been using it a lot. Now let's blend out this concealer. I'm going back with my Chica Hoto T11 brush just to Diffuse that out. That looks really good on the chin. Let's blend out under the eye. And y'all, my under eye is constantly tearing up. I'm about to go take some Zyrtec. That looks really good. And I like to go in with my cream bronzer first and then blend out my concealer because I feel like it looks neater than if I already have on my concealer and then blend out the cream bronzer because the concealer can kind of clean up if you overdo the cream bronzer. And then you can go in like this and take a little bit underneath and just kind of fuse it together and make it look more harmonious. Lovely. Now I wanna go in with this House Labs powder. This one is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder and I grabbed the shade Golden. The packaging is on 10. I love the new House Labs. They did that. And then the inside has the stopper, so you can't really make it too messy. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip my brush. BLM 41, little bitty baby Donald's brush, and I'm just going to press. Ooh. Ooh. That's smooth and pretty. Okay, now I want more House Labs makeup. <laughs> Cause that looks really good, really smooth. And y'all know I'm a tough critic when it comes to a loose powder. I am Simon Cowell when it comes to a loose powder. And that looks dang on good if I do say so myself. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder, just a little bit and put that right in the center of my forehead because this is a brightening powder. I'm gonna take a little bit and just kind of sweep. Just a little bit. And then let's go in with this Gucci blush in Tender Apricot or Apricot. Cause it looks light. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I do like light blush though. No, I like it. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. Cause it looks really light. But look, I'm just a fan of light blush. Very fresh looking. Let me rebrush these brows. This is a Chica Hoto GSM 14 spoolie brush. It may seem like you don't need it, but honey, it comes in handy. 
It's one of those things, gets those brows in formation. But sometimes spoolies on the end of a brow product aren't powerful enough, you know? This one is like king mother of spoolie brushes. Okay, this one is an EIG show small smudge brush. I'm gonna take this and smudge some eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Let's go into Heavenly again with the little smudge brush. We're gonna take that on the inner corner, brighten things up a bit. Okay, y'all this color is kind of intense, so be mindful. Let's take Haze and pop that on the center. And lastly, let's pick up Nocturne, bring it around. So I took off my lip oil to prepare myself to put on my lip. Not quite yet though. I'm gonna do my eyeliner. This one is a Danessa Myrix pencil and bronzite. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Pretty, like a shifty bronze shade. How gorge.org is that? We gotta put some mascara down there, but I'm gonna give it a second because my eyes are very sensitive. I'm gonna go in with the lip pencil by Makeup by Mario. This one is Milk Chocolate. Just a little bit of that. Okay. And I kind of drew mine with like a little oval over my cubist bow because that's what Beyonce does. <laughs> and I wanna be like B today. And the Makeup by Mario lip pencils have a little lip brush, so if you need to blend it out, honey, it's there for you, okay? So, small problem, I don't have any new lip products besides this one. This one is a gift by Gwen Gloss in the shade Candy, and I wanted it because it was a lavender-esque lip gloss. It kind of leans a little bit more pink than purple, but I've been fiending for a shade like this in my collection. So, this is really all I have that's new. It doesn't necessarily go with this look, but it's gonna have to go today because I don't have anything else new. Y'all have new lip products that you've been loving? If so, that's y'all got. I'm not really big on like pink and green, the color scheme overall, but it looks more olive and then this with the brown looks more neutral. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. So, do I like this? Let me find something else. <laughs> But that's like my newest lip, so at least y'all got that. Okay, let me take it off. Still on the Makeup by Mario lip liner tip. Let me reline. Pat McGrath Flesh 4. Yeah. And that'll do it. That's gonna be the one that I go with today. Mm -hmm. And that complements the coral of the cheek. It complements the rustic element of the eyes. And that just ties the look together, so. Here we go. Let's do some mascara on the lower lashes and then we'll be completely done. So here's the finished look. What do you all think? I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I used down in the comment section. I would say for me, my overall favorite thing that I used in this entire video was my foundation. Let's give a round of applause to the House Lab Foundation because this right here it's really beautiful. I love the way it looks. I love how smooth it is. I love how the color matches spot on. It's just giving me a smoother appearance. It's making my skin look 10 years younger and I'm loving that. So all around, I'm loving this the most. Cream bronzer, love. I didn't use any highlighter, but I did underpaint a highlighter, which I really like the way that that looks. It added an extra element of glow without it being apparently highlit. Okay, or highlighted. Highlight, I think you can't use that like that. It's highlighted, okay? So the Fenty was beautiful. Gave me a really nice canvas to work with. You know, excellent makeup prep. Of course, I love my lip oil. I really was surprised how much I like the Gucci blush. I think it gives me a really nice, fresh pop of color on the cheeks without it being so overtly obvious that I have color on my cheeks. It's like, hey, it's color, but it's a little bit more subtle, so I love that, and that's why I like light blushes, but you do have to find the perfect light blush for your complexion because just because this works on my complexion doesn't really mean that it's going to show up and show out the same way if you have a deeper complexion, so definitely, Tone down if you have a deeper complexion, but if you're in my complexion or lighter, that's a beautiful color. Love that. 
the brow pencil is really nice I've been using that one quite a bit I reach for it and I don't have to do a lot of work so I'm always down for that I'm not a fan of doing repetitive motions so I like to do something as fast as possible which is why I like brow pencils that work with me not against me as well as mascaras that work for me like I can see why this mascara has gotten a lot of hype because it is really pretty it's black it's lengthening it's volumizing it looks really good on the lashes so I'm loving that and eyeshadow wise I'm not gonna even hold y'all I don't really like the color story formulation is beautiful it's smooth everything blended out like a dream but these colors are just so dreary to me it just doesn't speak to me I know it speaks to a lot of you guys a lot of people like this type color palette but to me the tones are just you know flat and on my complexion they don't pop like that I have a medium golden neutral type undertone and so the tones that pop the most on me are something a little bit more golden a little bit more intense and these shades are definitely muted they reminds me of an old Victorian home which is beautiful but it's not my personal taste y'all see what I like I'm a maximalist I like color I like black and white I like things that are a little bit more bold and this to me just is and I don't know what that means but what I'm trying to say is just it's a little too monotone a little too flat a little bit too a little bit too muted okay but that does not speak to the quality of that palette at all if you've been interested in that palette and you like the look that I did then go for it this is just my personal preference in you know in regards to the color story so there's that let me know what you think about everything like i said down in the comment section if you like videos like this make sure you subscribe it means the world to me subscribe like comment share this video on your wall share this video with your friends i'm not playing it for real share it because it definitely makes a difference when the community does community building exercises <laughs> thank y'all so much i will have links to everything that i used down in the description box shopping through my links does help to support the kill bell community because i do receive a small commission and i will check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye